Hmm. Looks like the daylight is going down. Hmm. An old power it? station. Hey, I'm talking to you. What? It? it? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us. Arvo, we're not trying to be mean to you. We just want to know if this is where the supplies are. Is this the place you're taking us? Are the supplies here? No, it's at the house. It's still more walk. Some more hours. God damn it. I knew this was going to happen. This guy fucked us. Uh, thank you. No mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell yeah, me exactly... relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. Luke needs a break. We probably all do. Look, I'll do yep. whatever you guys want. Okay? But I could use the rest. It'd be safe to right. rest in there, where there's a fence. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. No, that's all you. <laughs> Only because you two don't have a child of your own. Let's just comfort him. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. You're natural. Really adorable. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Okay, that... Yeah, I got those, those two statements right there are just straight up insults. Come on over. It's safe. <clears throat> They're like blessings to people who want a child of their own. And later that evening. Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. That's awesome. Definitely this week. Well, happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. So, how old are you now? I am 27 years old. That's pretty old. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting <laughs> to collect. <laughs> That's Probably. what I'm afraid of. What did you study? Majored in art history. That's cool. Art history? <laughs> Sounds Not... like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. Did get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. I'd rather study for... Psychology for a or occasion. accounting. Well, it being your birthday and all, figure. This is as anything good a time that as any. has anything to do with working at a pharmacy. Nah, not a good idea. Where did you get it? Bill kept all the alcohol in the armory. He didn't like people imbibing. What's that mean? Drinking. He he didn't think people should drink. <laughs> Well, that's the on one only thing the first that I can Whoa, agree wait. on. You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real well, nice. Well, yeah. Cheers. 
I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well, I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. The baby might be cold. Nah, I'll keep him warm. He's a tough little guy. But it's like sub-zero sure? degrees yeah. out there. Come on, Kenny. Just sit a little while longer. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got same her here, out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing you saved our ass. I know, I know. I just hmm. don't know what she's getting at all this. She usually travels by herself. It has to be hard. Maybe she's just lonely. Well, that explained a few things. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. Disgusting. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten tick minutes. tock, tick tock. Right, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. All right. All right. It wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. Hmm. It's my fault for bringing it up. Should not talk like that. I shouldn't be talking like that. It doesn't seem nice. No, you're right, Clem. It ain't right. And yet you do it anyways. So talk about being hypocritical. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I don't know. Maybe she likes him? No, I think we could bet on that. Because you see here, Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your movie's working on all the ladies. Worked on me. Oh, shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thoughts. Well, I ain't a man. So they can take that shit somewhere else. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this will change their minds. Hmm. First. Gonna need to check on Arvo. Starting to feel sorry for him because of all the aggressiveness that Kenny has shown him. I'm I'm sorry about your sister. Really? That's it? Hmm. Alright then. Offer rum to Jane. I'm just gonna call it red rum. <clears throat> Excuse me? They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. It's probably been a while for everyone. We just want you to feel welcome. It's warm over by the fire. What is it? To be honest, I don't it's even want to know. Rum? I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to... You know. It'll only be weird if you make it weird. Just be cool. Hang out. I wish it was that easy. It is. People just love making it harder than it has to be. 
Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? Or they don't have the right guts to do so. That's really good. Have you had any? You want to sip? It's okay. <laughs> what on earth? She's it like 11. Like You'll feel it in your nose. No thanks. I'm trying to cut back. <laughs> you can be the designated driver then. Cool. But I don't know how to drive though. It's easier now. There aren't any cops. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals, and I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. That's and dangerously it stupid. And shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. And I proceeded to eat what I thought was sugar candy. That's a mess. Sounds like a mess. Yeah, it was. Every couple years, someone would step on a piece of glass that didn't get swept up and get mad at me all over again. The problem with glass is it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. Oh my. My sister found me. Drunk. Blood pouring out of my mouth. Yeah. I thought I was dying, so she called 911. Did you ate glass by accident by any chance? For six months. You ate glass? I ate glass. I haven't thought about that in a long time. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. Mm, probably not. Probably, he probably needs a, a good chat. Time to not make it weird. Wanna sit here? No. That's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. <laughs> That's pretty nice. It reminds me of the time that I saw a deleted scene, an alternate deleted scene from a Nickelodeon show called The Loud House. And it's from that episode where... I don't know, the sporty stereotype tries to beat everyone by simply doing things faster in everyday life. Like, there was one moment where she tried to brush her teeth fast using two toothbrushes. And and in the episode itself, only one tooth came out. But, but in the deleted alternate scene, it shows blood coming out of her gums. That was disgusting. It makes me glad that they deleted that, even though I'm not a big fan of that show. Like, the humor is too corny and almost everyone is just one personality stereotypes. Especially the comedian, the tomboy, and the scientist stereotypes. Like, those are the worst that I have seen in that show. Okay, back on topic. Time to talk to Kenny. There, there. Hey. Oh, hey, Clam. Just, uh, needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. Very true. I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there. After Sarita was... I just... I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. To be fair, you have you, you have hurt her. You really hurt my feelings. I did my best, and... I know. I was just in darkness, and you showed up with some light. But I thought I needed to stay there a little longer when I should have went with you. Okay. 
I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. To play catch with Duck. To touch Katja's face. I miss Duck too. He was a good friend. And I haven't had too many of them. He was a good boy. Pure. Just wanted folks to be happy, that's all. A boy like that. Thrown into a world like this. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle AJ might be cold. The baby might be cold. Maybe you should bring him by the fire. Yeah, okay. Okay, once again, sorry about that sudden pause there, and now let's go back to the fire with the rest of the group. <laughs> uh, Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Let's drop it. Well, that's fine, but I can confirm there was no time for kissing. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Hey, you Clem. It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah, we need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. For me, it sort of helps. Hmm. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. All right. I don't want Sounds Clem like to keep it longer anyway. He lost really? His sister today. And whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. He needs it as much as anyone right now. It's a nice thing to do. I said my piece. Why are you acting this way? I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So I think it's best Leave to... Leave me alone! Oh, great. Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have... Leave me alone! It's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow? Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take first Very watch. Very Thank true, you, right Kate. there. Really. I, uh, don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. Yeah, I admit, good while it lasted. <laughs> 